We're opening the meeting. Gentlemen, have you had a chance to review the minutes? Not yet. Okay, let's check them out. He's a busy signing here. Okay. Fanick made a motion to accept the minutes. Aye. Aye. Make it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, next up, correspondence. There's three things here. Uh, one is a letter from Vision, UGSI, saying that the backup service that we had with them was discontinued in September. That was when we went with the getting backed up, they're backing it up. Same thing every day, it's just on their server. I don't know why they waited till now to send it. But What's the date? Uh, September 28th, but it came in. <laughs> That's like the cloud type of uh, uh, backing up. Mm -hmm. The next thing, MAAO is offering well, an overview of open meeting law. Well, look, Five minutes 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 for you too. Yeah. Uh, I already signed up for it, it's on Zoom, it's from 10.30 to 12. There's no cost. Okay. Well, that's one over in Wilbraham? Mm -hmm. uh, nope, this one is on Zoom. It's just going to be you log in and watch it. Oh, oh, oh good. Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah, there's no cost for that one. And then the third one uh, is the one that's in, actually, it's in South Africa. It's an analysis of income and expense questionnaires. It's at the library in South Hadley. And that one is on March 14th from 8.30 to noon. And yeah. there's no cost. And you're going to that. And I'd like to go to that one too, yeah. You want a motion for that one? Make a motion. You go. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> yeah, that one will be real good for you, us. Especially with no cost. Correct. The best. Excuse me. Ha! The okay. morning committee Thank update, you. there's nothing new. Motor vehicle update. <coughs> one, <coughs> right. one, yep. one calendar 22, which is here, yep. and five. Or t I'm sorry, calendar. Yeah, calendar tw 122 and 523s, just to sign the slip. All uh, next is board and committee code of conduct. Yeah. There's a copy there if you want to read through it. Uh, they brought this up at the last select board meeting two weeks ago. And the planning board basically replied back that they're an independent elected board. And they are abstaining from signing the policy. <laughs> I'll make a motion that we abstain the, from signing the policy as the planning board. See now we're on page committee. Second. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> committee him. I'll we'll be on the same page, so we're on the same page with the planning board and then well, I'm sure in the end the library and board of health and school committee will probably be. Okay. Dan, you have another book? Oh, yeah, it's over there. Okay. So this one's self so complete. I'll turn. Uh, next up is boat excise. There are 127 bills totaling $3,799, which is up a little bit from last year. Not a whole lot. Uh, we need a motion and a second. No, these are 
to what abatements? Uh, no, commitment. It's to send the build out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Yes, Second. Please. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. How many did you say there were, Dan? 127. And that's a few more than has been. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we had 124, I think. Okay. Oh, so There's 20. I think it was 123. 21 came off, and there's 25. Minutes. Pages too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. And there's two here. Okay, I'm caught up till it. To come this way up. Uh, <coughs> next up is an adjustment letter for the FY24 real estate committee. I don't know if you remember a couple months ago, the first commitment when we did the first and second quarter, it was off by $538. $531.58 was a number set when it was typed out. And when we did the fourth, third, and fourth quarters, I put corrected number in the minutes and they took it out of the minutes so we're still off 531.58 so we have to re-sign a new one saying to take 531.58 off of this. Any motion in that one Dan? Yep. Mr. Bannock. Motion made. Greater. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You guys here. There's only two there. Oh. Next up, yeah. FY24 person property thing. Uh, Bath and Body Works was actually out of the mall 1123. And somehow their account got left on. So this is abating $18.79. Panic made a motion. Make a motion. Greater second. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Two. Please. You like your signatures? Mm. Let's take a look. Yeah, you can go that way with that one. All right. Mm -hmm. Just 
these. These are done. Nope. nope. There's a letter P on the top. Yeah. <laughs> That's personal. <laughs> Private. That one's done. This book is done. Yep. Thank you. Uh, next up Thank is you. FY25 Chapter 61A. The forms are due on December 1st. They were due on December 1, and we went through all of them. <clears throat> and there's nothing that needs to be denied, but we need to vote to accept the forms. And rather than have you sign every single form, I've got a list, alphabetical by owner, with all the parcel numbers on it. There's a lot. Oh, you should probably yep. abstain. I think your name's on there. Or your wife's name is on there. Mr. Bannock, make the motion to accept. Motion to accept. Second. Greater. Second. I'll abstain. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm abstaining. <coughs> That's a revolutionary idea there. Uh, well, yeah, it's probably better. Streamlined. <laughs> and signing. Yeah. Well, a lot of these are four on a form, but you still. Are supposed to sign on this one? Yeah, I'm not going to. You two guys. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <coughs> Uh, next up is FY25 values <coughs> for the schools. The school department contacted us, or me, and wanted us to look at the values for next year for the schools. So I went through, I costed out, it's, it's about 320 bucks a square foot to construct new, the, the two buildings, basically. Uh, so they would like us to up the value as a replacement cost and then depreciate it down, which I don't have a problem with. We did this uh, several years ago, I think. We did on all the schools in town. We bumped them up. But due to COVID, construction costs have gone up immensely, which is why the DPW garage, instead of costing eight, they're looking at 30 million now. Whoa! To build. So they would like us to have a, a more accurate value. So what I did, I bumped up Hopkins, the elementary school, and uh, the Chinese charter school. And Hopkins goes from 13.4 to 18.9 for value. The elementary school and the public safety goes from 19.4 to 27.6. And the Chinese Charter School goes from fifteen five to twenty thousand four hundred. What the hell? I mean, sorry, twenty million four hundred for fifteen and a half million. These seem in line. I would think <coughs> what it costs. So, if you want to do a motion to set those. What What's the reason for this? Insurance purposes as well, or? Uh, yeah, I think it's insurance and also renovation work that they're doing. Mm -hmm. Just to have it accurately reflect just what they're stay current with Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Exempt properties tend to fall by the wayside when we revalue. Well I can yeah, really I can realize that. I'll make a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. And I'm gonna abstain because I'm an employee of the school. Gotcha. Why? He has inside knowledge. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, next page. This one. 
I did some pre preliminary ratios for 20, calendar 23 sales. And we were hoping that values would stay level or slightly drop. <laughs> but we were at 92.5% basically this, this past year. Uh, right now our 101 sales are single family are at 85 and a half. Mm. So we're looking at an overall probably about a 10% bump up in values over the last calendar year. Now I broke it out by style and these are just raw numbers. I haven't gone through any of the properties and looked at them. Uh, ranches, colonials, capes, bungalows are pretty much good. They're all between 88 and 92. I think we are. Uh, conventional, modern, raised ranch, and antique are closer to 80. So I'm going to look at those. And that, you're only looking at five sales, two sales, two sales, and yeah. one sale by style. Right. But we're looking at probably having to go up about five, probably eight to 10 percent total for next year, for fiscal 25. And everything's the by sale date. The first half of the year was 89 percent. The second half of the year, the houses that sold were at 84 percent. So it's demonstrating that values were were significantly going up. And then the, on the back of that, and the next three pages are all the the actual numbers broken out. I didn't do all the ratios yet because we don't really need them at this point. Broken down by um, square footage or sale price or grade or lot size. That's what the state wants. But they don't need the numbers from the beginning. Next item is our budget. This is the budget as submitted that you guys voted at the last meeting. I'm not sure if we're up. Almost 15,000 in the prior year. I'm not sure how much of that we're going to actually get. They haven't released their budget yet. That'll probably be at the first meeting in February before we get it. Uh, most of that increase is training and software fees going up. And the training is something that it's not like, oh, you'd like to get the training. It's not for me and Janice. It's for the new people coming in to get trained how to operate the software. So it's something that where they may think, oh, it's just training. We're going to cut that back. It's something that really can't get cut. It's the one thing. It's, it's going to be tough, I think, to hire somebody that has not working knowledge of both Vision and VADAR hmm. for both programs. So we basically budgeted in two days of in-house training for them to come out and train the people. And this year's budget, we're running uh, well within the limits. We'll probably have the normal budgetary turn back. Yeah. Uh, next is commercial abatement handout. We have not had any commercial applications come in, but this was one that I didn't have done for the last meeting in December. So I revised all the dates and the numbers on it. And if you want to look through it and possibly vote to approve it, we'll send those out if we get any commercial abatements in. So this is our same form, except it's a, I just changed yeah. from 23 to 24. Yeah, so that's good. And the filing dates are 20 through 20. 
22 instead of 19 through 21. Okay, Mr. Bannock makes the motion. I'll make the motion. Mr. Grader second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> uh, next up is cost 41C. That's the senior $500 tax exemption. Uh, Selectmen are going to be opening the warrant tonight for the, the springtime meeting. Mm -hmm. And we had discussed this back in the fall yep. about possibly adding this. And we should probably, if we're going to do it, probably put make a motion to add it in. I would recommend that we do 41C with the state base limits until we find out exactly how many people would qualify for it. Because we don't want to put this through and say we do 41C with higher asset and income limits and then find out 200 people qualify for it and it's 100 grand right. that's coming out of the overlay. Because we don't know how many, with the, the 17D that we did a few years ago, we weren't sure. I think we budgeted 10,000 in the overlay for it and we had one person a year file for it so far. So that's only 175. So I think we could probably get away with doing this for 25 and not even having to ask for more money in the overlay. Okay. Mr. Bannock. I'll make motion. Mr. Grader. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> uh, next is the annual report. The first page is our, our general narrative. I changed a few things on it. Mostly dates. The things that we did. And the back page is exactly the same as last year, except the numbers are different. It's a 24, fiscal 24 recap. If there's anything you want added or changed, these aren't due until probably the middle to end of next month. All right, so let's put that on next agenda. We'll just eyeball it. Next item is the MAAO winter meeting. This is one that I would like to go to. Uh, well, it's not literally not going anywhere. Attend. <laughs> it's on Zoom from 8.30 to noon. But this one has a $50 cost, so I wanted to clear it through you. It's you want affordable more? housing, assessing affordable housing, accessing probate records, and the corporation book. Sounds like it's um, valuable. Yeah, it's, it's 8.30 to 12. I'll make a motion to accept. It's okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Next item is the fiscal twenty five actually it's calendar twenty four, which would be fiscal twenty five mapping contract. Cost is three thousand a month, up uh, a month, three thousand a year. <laughs> That's the same as it was last year, and they're going to provide all the same services. They're not reviewing every deed anymore; just the ones that we that I call out and say, "Okay, this needs to be looked at," or map changes that we send to them. They make changes. On Does the that go on during the course of the year? You pull something out, or is this uh, you have to I pull package them out. it? I basically I pull them out. I had and, hate, and hold on to them and then mail the whole packet to them at the okay. time. Because right. they basically they provide us with one set of maps. Usually it's June, July by the time they get we get the revised maps back. Okay. I'll make a motion. Oops. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And that needs autographs on three of those lines. I just took my glasses off. Mind. No more. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, the next one, I've got two separate items, but one memo. So we should probably do this separately. Um, it's setting the FY25 overlay amount at 70000 for budgeting purposes. That's what we normally put in, 70, and then it gets adjusted either up or down by anywhere between two and 10,000, depending on how the rounding works. We've got about 250,000 in the overlay right now. All right, can we release some of that? Uh, I would wait to do anything with it because we're only putting in, we're putting in Last year we, this year we put in 70. Last year we put in about 35 or 40. Right. And we're up, we're at the point now where we're taking out between 30 and 40 exemptions a year. So if we get a large taxpayer, who I'm not going to say identify anybody, but if we get a large taxpayer that's looking for a sizable tax abatement. Like Kitteridge did. <laughs> Lever. Yeah, or, or somebody yeah. else that's in town. Yeah. Uh, all right, so it would we'll be a big hit. Okay, I would say look at it after. We can look at it after the yeah. the final period. Yeah. Okay, because yeah, that's kind of getting up there. So. Okay, but we did a. You made the motion. Make motion. For yep. seven. Okay, and then we need a new growth estimate. Oh, uh, we're missing. We're going on one. So we're missing a guy. Yep. You need somewhere on there. Uh, uh, for growth for this year, we've been using 100 for an estimate. I think we're going to be closer to 275 oh. this year because we've got two major commercial projects going in. Again, I don't want to identify which ones, but I think you know which two are going in. Okay. Are big. They're going to add a sizable amount. I expect one to be, for the most part, done the end of June, and the other one will be mostly done mm -hmm. by the end of June. So I think for budgeting purposes, we can give them 275 for this year. So that'll be a nice boost. Yeah. Finally. We're actually getting commercial growth. Wow. Uh, so we need a motion and a second. I like a motion. Go ahead. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then the last item on the agenda, or second last item on the agenda, is uh, voting to extend the FY25 form of list filing date deadline from March 1st to April 1st. Those are the personal property tax returns for all the businesses in town. And they can, you can vote to extend it by 30 days from March 1st to April 1st. What's the advantage to doing that? Uh, it doesn't do a lot for the town, but it allows the taxpayer to get the forms actually filled in and filed time. Okay. I'll second. I'll make a motion. Greater. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, principal assessor's report. I have nothing at this point. And the last thing we have is executive session. If you want to read that part, the board of, uh, board of assessors is session. entering executive session. Uh, the, you're entering in, but not yet. Okay. To conduct business relating to pending litigation and real estate abatement applications, and that conducting the business in open session will have a detrimental effect on the negotiating position of the town. Okay, we're going to take a roll call vote. Bannock? Yep. Yep. Greater? Yep. Mish? Yep. So we're in an executive yes, now? Yes. Yes. Right. Yep. Uh, you okay? We have our sign. Yep. 